In this demonstration, I'm going to be walking you through a simple three-step process for adding a feed to a view in the Sage Sales Logics web client. To begin the process, you first have to add the field to the database or use one of the existing fields that are already in the database. And for today, we're going to add the AKA field to the account detail view in the web client. You can see that the AKA field already does exist, but if I right click, I can add a new field. Actually, as many new fields as you want to can be added into the system, either into the existing tables or by adding new tables to help organize your data. So the AKA field is now available to us, so we'll close the administrator. The second step in the process is to open up the SalesLogix application architect, which is the software package that comes with your SalesLogix system. And this is the tool that's used to make modifications to the screen, such as adding the new field. So we've chosen Project Explorer within the architect, and we've opened up the expanding folder tree. And now we're looking at the account detail over on the left hand side and if I double click on that it will open up the account detail over on the right and I choose edit and now we have what what I would call a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get view in the architect of the current account detail view so I've dragged that down and now you can see behind here that here's the current web client and the layout does indeed match what we're looking at in the architect so now what I'm going to do is right click in this gray area and choose insert. And as you can see, there's quite a list of new objects and fields that you can add to the sales objects interface. We're just going to choose a simple text box and it automatically drops down a new row underneath the fields that are already on the screen. And now if I go and tell it, I want to view the properties for that field over on the right hand side, I can do things like add the caption and we're going to call this just simply AKA. And then we also have to bind this field or to a field in the system. And so we choose data bindings here in the properties. I'm going to choose the AKA field and then map it by choosing the map button and clicking OK. So now what we've done is we've told the system this is where I want my new field. I want it called AKA the label on the screen and I want it bound to or tied to the AKA field in the database. So now I'm just going to save my changes. The third and final step in our process is to rebuild what we've created here in the SalesLogix application architect into a usable web page for the SalesLogix system and then replace the existing account detail web page with this new one we just created. To do that, you first build the interfaces using this toolbar button, and then you build the web platform, and finally, we're going to deploy or move that new web page out to the website by choosing Deployment, Core Portals, the SalesLogix client, and then choosing the Deploy button. You can watch the progress of this deployment down below in the output window, and once you see that it was deployed successfully, we can then take a look at the web client and as you can see indeed we do have our new AKA field on the screen and we're going to call Abbott Limited Abbott Labs because they're also known by that name. There is a demonstration of a simple process for adding new fields to the views in the SalesLogix web client. Thanks for watching.